wonder why some of our ministers will just open their mouth and talk rubbish because I do not expect that the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources could actually open his mouth and talk rubbish just because they are in positions where they are uh, uh, opportune to spend the, 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 the resources of the country the way they want. They just do not feel any pain of the citizens of the country. How can a minister open his mouth to say that petrol is consumed only by elites in Nigeria? So people around should not complain about the hike in petrol price. Like, are you kidding me? Like, seriously? This is really absurd because, really, you are talking about elites. Who are the elites? Aside elites, so you mean the common man will no longer uh, travel in uh, commercial buses or they would not even go uh, with uh, road transports and all of that. Even if they are not using personal cars, they are using petrol vehicles as, you know, commercial vehicles. Now, there are drivers who cannot even afford, uh, or would you say drivers who take people around are also elites in Nigeria? There are countries where, where, where drivers are elites, but in Nigeria, major the major the most drivers we have are not elites. Most of them are poor. Very few are in the middle class. And once there's a hike in petrol prices, it affects both everybody, even those that are just the transporters. They are all affected. So for a minister to just open his mouth wow, and just begin to say all sort of rubbish is shameful and just to but say that uh, uh, petrol is consumed only by elites like is he okay like is he all right these are these are some of the people that are turning the country upside down and when young people talk they say young people are high on drugs it is so unfortunate that we have such kind of ministers after they've stole money they've been in problems before they are still being made ministers, they are being made senators, they are being made House of Rep members. So who is going to really elevate Nigeria from this situation that Nigeria is today? Because you keep rotating thieves, those that have been convicted, those that have been arraigned for, uh, 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 for, for crimes that have, you know, embezzled funds, those that have been accused of money laundering outside nigeria you still pick those guys up and use them as ministers and you feel they are good examples to nigeria these are some of the major problem we have in the country today and it is only god that can really save nigerians from all of this anyway let's get to see why he said all of this and what he meant when he really said that uh, uh those uh, consuming uh petrol are actually elites more details of this shortly but please if you have not subscribed ensure you hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to turn on your notification bell because that is the best way you get notified anytime we drop a new video okay guys without further ado he says that um the minister of state for petroleum resources to me Silva, said petrol is consumed by elites in nigeria so people should not complain about the hike to me Silva has justified the hike in the pump price of petrol from between 158 naira and 162 naira per liter to 168 and 175 naira per liter saying that there is no reason for people to complain since fuel is mostly consumed by elites in the country. Silva said this on Monday, November 16, while addressing State House correspondent at the Presidential Villa Abuja after a meeting with President Muhammad Buhari, the substantive Minister of Petroleum Resources. The minister stated that kerosene and diesel were even more important to ordinary Nigerians than petrol, which is mostly used by elites. Look at it, a situation where diesel has been de deregulated long ago, a situation where kerosene has been deregulated long ago, and these are the fuels the poorest people in Nigeria interact with more. Why do I say that? Sylvia said. He said if you want to transport food from the north to the south, it will be by truck that are run by diesel, not with petrol. Those trucks that transport food from north to the south are usually run by diesel. Kerosene is the preferred fuel at the lowest level of our society. These have been deregulated long ago. So what's the problem with deregulation of petrol, which is mostly used by elites? Let us be fair to this country. Let us be fair to the poor people in this country. If we had deregulated what they were using, then there's actually no reason 
why we should continue to subsidize petrol. I feel so. That's my personal feelings. I believe he's just stupid with his personal feelings. That is what I would say because really, if a minister could be thinking this low that petrol is only consumed by elites, like, could he really be okay while saying that? I think he forgot a lot of things that it is uh, very common for poor Nigerians, middle classes to travel well, with commercial transport and they will have to pay for transportation. And once the price of petrol is hiked, I'm very sure you should understand that the price, the ticket to go by bus would also increase. Now he only gave an example of uh, those uh, uh, transporting food from north to south that they are using truck and truck is uh, uh, a truck normally uses diesel and not uh, uh, petrol. Well, he could say that about food, but really, how many of these foods are being transported in these heavy trucks that really use diesel? Let us be factual to ourselves, because he's talking about deregulation, that uh, uh, it has been deregulated for uh, diesel and kerosene. And that is what major people in Nigeria... So are you trying to say Nigerians should continue to be on that same level? People should not rise. That is a problem with the government of today. They expect everybody to be on the floor. Why they be above? And everyone from the floor begins to look them from the top and see them as their God. This should not be. Nigeria should be a level playing ground for everyone where there's equal opportunity for everybody. But they keep impoverishing the people in the best way they can so that these people will keep looking up to them. And they keep the same Nigerians in perpetual poverty where they will not have their voices because that is what poverty does your voices cannot be heard once you are poor your voice is not heard nobody listens to you and that is what the government is doing to the uh, people of nigeria you just want to keep them in poverty where nobody will be able to open their mouth to talk now you talk about uh, a deregulation now you 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 put fall out of it saying that uh, uh, it is for the elite those that are civil servants have they increased their salaries their salaries are not yet increased, but they take transport to, to their workplace every day. Some of them use their personal cars. They drive it to work, and you increase the fuel pump price, and you refuse to increase salaries. That is wickedness. That is outright wickedness. And these are the things that have made this country not to progress and not to grow beyond where it is today. These are the things that have not made Nigeria to be that great nation that it is meant to be. But all the same, I hope and I pray that a day will come that God will look down on Nigeria and have mercy on her. That is all I can say. So, guys, thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to drop your comments and give this video a thumbs up. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.